a Marine. Billings now is author, actor, retired Marine Corps drill instructor, Army, Army known better as the Gunny. Gunny, thanks a lot for joining us this morning. I appreciate it. Um, so great what's... Great evening, Dr. Ed. Good. Well, it's, it's, it's great to see you. You're the most direct person I think I've ever watched. What's the first on the list of life goals uh, that you recommend? Well, first of all, you know, I look around society this, uh, this day and age, the economy the way it is, and there's so many people out of work, and, and, and I'm wasting five hours uh, going from East Coast to West Coast how many times a week. And, and uh, I decided I would, I would just have to try to do something about it. You know, I've been there, done that. Uh, life experiences, as far as I'm concerned, if I haven't had them, they probably don't exist. Uh, I've been up and down. I usually, I usually uh, most of my early part of my life, I, if I couldn't make it on one job, I would find two, and I would have two jobs. Yes. And, and I'm afraid it, the most disgusting thing to me is these poor people that are having to depend on unemployment and welfare and food stamps, you know, it's like getting mired down in a swamp. You can't get out of there. Once you're in there, you're stuck. Right. And so uh, I've always been one that uh, I'll get a job one way or the other. I, that paycheck is the most important thing in my life. And if I can't support my family, uh, that's a bad thing. And I figured I would like to share some of my experiences and how to to some of these folks that might need a little help, a little boost, a little push in the right direction. So first rule, get so a I job no book. matter what it is. So what happens when something goes wrong, as things inevitably do? You come up against obstacles you didn't expect, and what's your posture then? Uh, you back up and, and you reassess the situation, and I'm one of those firm believers that if, if bad things happen to you, you know it's usually your fault. So if you, you reassess the situation and you find out where you're going wrong and you correct that and you get you go after it again, that's plain and simple. So find a job, no matter what it is, because you, you need a paycheck, first and foremost, and if something goes wrong, it's probably your fault. Can you imagine a politician saying that out loud? What would happen? Uh, that would almost be like an apology. They don't do that, do they? No, they don't. They, they, they never do the that. The thing is... The thing is, Tucker, you're a successful man. I'm a very successful person. Uh, obviously, it's it's something to do with drive. Uh, we we uh, we're ambitious. Uh, we we will not stay. I couldn't sit at home and and draw unemployment. I just couldn't do it. I did it for two weeks after I was retired from the Marine Corps, and my dad made it quite clear that he was not going to allow me to sit around on my lazy duck and eat his food and live in his house. So I, I better find myself a job too sweet. Two weeks later, I was <laughs> working. Sweet. I, I, I took, and, and I find the firm, if I was unemployed today, I would have a job by the end of the week. I will guarantee you. It might not be the bank president. Right. However, if I had to pump gas, that's what I would do. And I've done, I've, dr I've driven taxis. I've, I've done just uh, set up bowling pins and bowling Amen. Alleys. Well, that's I've done everything. <laughs> so, Gunny, that's, a, that's the greatest rule I've heard today. Gunny's Rules, How to Get Squared Away Like a Marine. That's the book. Buy it. Thanks a lot, Gunny. We appreciate it this morning. That's for five. Yeah, oh, by the way, happy Veterans Day to everybody. And happy out birthday, there. Happy birthday. Birthday. Veterans Thank Day. you. God bless. Well, six-time felon tried to force his way into their apartment. They pulled a gun. Now they're being brutal.